All right, so we are testing more stupid Amazon motorcycle accessories so that you guys don't have to, and hopefully this video will make me some money so it will fund me buying more stupid Amazon motorcycle accessories because I'm addicted. We'll get it in post. <laughs> now, I love action cameras, and throughout the years, actually this is, this is actually recently, I spend a lot of money on action cameras. This right here is $12,000, just in GoPros. It doesn't look like $12,000. Yeah, this not, it's just like, it's like 2,000 bucks. But nobody loves action cameras more than Dragon. This is Dragon Touch action camera. Vision 3. I, I, I question whether that's supposed to be version 3. I was wondering the same thing. Now, action cameras are great. We use them for making videos. That makes us money. A lot of people use them to, to do stunts or just to, like uh, insurance reasons, just in case an accident happens. They only use them if, if they were in the right and the other driver was in the wrong. Otherwise, you just weren't wearing a camera. The latest generation GoPro Hero Black is around $500. This guy... $69.99. Man, I could buy an old dirt bike for 500 bucks. I mean, the first 10 cars that I've owned in my lifetime were all under $500. You could buy a dog, man's best friend. You could buy 50 buckets of popcorn from the movie theater. Or you could buy seven of these Dragon cameras because they're $69.99. And to be honest with you, the specs are pretty impressive. It's got 20 M's. What does that even mean? It's a lot of M's. Questionable a lot of it's not as much as 30 M. No, that's true. 170 degrees. Pop it open. It honestly looks more like an old GoPro. It looks like Gen 1 GoPro. So I think that's kind of a cool thing. It feels it's so light. feels way too light. Yeah. Maybe it's because I'm missing the battery. Some type of not quite GoPro sticky. Dragon Touch. I love that. All right, let's, uh, let's install it. Let's try it out. Let's see how it compares to a GoPro. Dragon Touch Vision 3. I'm not gonna lie, the screen doesn't look bad. That's, that's. Is it because I was in it? That's similar to, wasn't somewhere a, a remote? A Bluetooth remote? Yeah, it's working. That's pretty cool. You, oh, you just took a picture maybe. Mm -hmm. 4K 30 feet per, or 30 frames per second. No, I'm snapping a picture. That's kind of cool. You can put a little, put it on your wristband. Nice. It worked. This is kind of cool. All right, so it took us a little while. Um, this action camera is kind of finicky. You can't pull the card out before you turn the thing off or you stop the recording. We did finally get it. Let's compare the two right now and see if you guys can see which one is the $500 unit and which one is the $70 unit. So I'm kind of a action cam snob. I want it to be as good as I possibly can because I use this stuff for, for work and to show you guys videos. Um, for 69 bucks, this thing did, it did work. It would probably look a lot better if, it was, if you weren't moving as much, which kind of defeats the purpose of an action camera, but uh, it, it doesn't look that bad. You know, so if you wanted to buy it for your kids or something like that, I, I, I would not buy it. Would you buy it? I don't think so. I would just buy an older GoPro. You yeah. can buy an older GoPro for like double the price. And I think it'd be way, way, way better off. So I'm gonna give this a uh, not worth the money. Not worth the money. Were you gonna say it's worth the money? Well, I can't say it. I wouldn't buy it and then say it's worth the money, can I? No, you cannot. <laughs> and this is why I didn't give a two year free warranty because I just found this thing on Alibaba for $6. For six bucks. And if you buy in bulk, you can get a whole lot more for a whole lot less. All right, so the next product is a very, very popular product at an incredibly a discounted price. That is the Moto Stereo Kit. I personally don't understand this. I don't know why you want to ride your motorcycle when you have the, you know, the wind and the outside noises and, and, and your, the sound of your bike and you want to just blast music, but you want everyone else to hear your music. I personally don't get it. If I, if I see one more Harley Davidson blasting Megadeth or Born to be Wild, I'm, I might explode. 
<laughs> the other thing is when I'm riding a, a Goldwing or a Harley, and I got I got music playing. It's it's normally the radio, and then the worst thing is when like a when a woman's the hair product commercial comes on and I'm just I'm sitting there at a, I'm sitting there at a stoplight you know I mean blasting my song and then it's just like this hair product commercial and it, you know people are looking at me you know I, honestly I, I feel embarrassed playing music that loud while while on a motorcycle that's because you're always playing Taylor Swift I'm just gonna shake that off Greg Oh. Just gonna shake it off. <laughs> but so despite my feelings about stereos on motorcycles, they are handy, they are nice, and it is nice to listen to your tunes on a long trip. So let's, uh, let's pop this thing open and see what it's like. Also, price tag is $84.90. You get four speakers, four waterproof speakers, and this whole head unit for $84.99. That's not a lot of shekels. That's not bad. Go Hawk! Simple. Clean looking design, I got no problem with it. Pop this baby open. I'm glad to see the speakers are smaller than they appear. They are very small. They look bigger on the box, so that's that's good. That is a, no, that is a nice size for a motorcycle. Yep. Now, there should be some type of mount, right? Is that this? Is this the speaker? How do we mount it? Two-sided tape. There we go. There we go, we got amp too. Need that amp. Oh, that, oh wait. Oh, that's oh, no. the whole. This is the, the unit. Yeah, that's the unit. So this is actually set up that normally what we see guys do is this will be mounted in their saddlebag. Saddlebag or someplace hidden, not right up there. And then they'll put the speakers, one on either side of the handlebars and then one on either side of the highway pegs or the, highway, yep. the crash bars. Yep. Let's mount this on a motorcycle and see what it's like. And this thing is installed perfectly. There's no better way to install it. And this is generally how most people <laughs> install their stereos. I'm not kidding. It's awful. But ours is perfect and has no complaints. And okay, so it, it powered up. It powered up. Um, it connected to my phone really easily. I just pressed, uh, I put it on Bluetooth. I changed the modes. That's the radio. That's auxiliary. So that's right here. The next one's BE. It's supposed to be a T, but that's, that's, that's Bluetooth. And then that one says rad. I don't know what that is. Uh, it's got all the things you want. Let's go test it out. And all this reminds me of one of my favorite Bible verses, Proverbs 13, 20. He who walks with wise men will be wise, but the companion of fools will suffer harm. So I think it was pretty obnoxious uh, for everyone around me. Um, so I'm gonna go with that's not a bad set. I mean, that's what that's the, kind of the purpose of that's the That's what they're for. That's what they're for. I can hear them. I, I hit up like 40, 45 miles an hour, crystal clear. So for 69 bucks, it's not that bad. Not that bad if you're in that type of thing. Agreed. Let's go to the next product. All right, so last time we tried this $16 GPS tracking device that would go on your motorcycle, we couldn't get it to work. We got a SIM card for it. The SIM card was gonna cost us like 60 to 80 bucks a month. I never canceled it, I'm still paying for it. We got a bunch of comments from a lot of people. One, SIM cards in other countries are in way cheaper, like five bucks a month or five bucks a year. And maybe there's a data SIM card that we can get some, someplace significantly cheaper. I'm not sure why we did the way we did. One guy even claimed that he actually got his to work and it works out pretty good. But we had a bunch of comments saying, why don't you guys just get Apple AirTags to track your bike? So here, here's what we're trying to solve. People's bikes get stolen all the time. What if you had a cool little GPS tracker? People said Apple AirTags could do it and it's way cheaper and it works better. Let's try it out. How do Apple AirTags work? You hear that? You have to be less than two inches from your phone. Bike, backpack, camera, headphones, head jack, keys. I should say wife's keys. We'll do a custom name. This thing's made for a motorcycle. Look, you put a picture of a thing. Motorcycle. It's setting it up. View on Find My App. Bam, right there. There it is. Let's put this air tag on a motorcycle. Craig will s steal it. That's an air tag holder there. I mean, I see him, but it's kind of. That's uh, it's definitely not where he is still. Can you like refresh it? It says it's with you. That's a lie. 
Try moving to a different location. Let's find that motorbike. Yeah. <laughs> we don't see them. This thing is not, that's not. Okay, lost mode, we can enable that. Let's try that. Okay, so I'm parked here. I'm hiding in the woods. I don't think they're ever gonna find me. Oh wait, hold on. Set, look, at this is telling me directions 0.5 miles. Either back behind here or, no, he, okay, he's, he's in that parking lot back there. He drove past and didn't see me. All right, so I'm hiding in the dumpster area. I don't think they saw me yet. We got him. We got him. I'm gonna get out. I don't know where he is. Yellow. Yo, where you, Yo, where at, where you Craig? at, Craig? I'm not telling. Did you move again, you jerk? No, I'm not moving. Are you in a visible spot that we can see? Or are you hiding behind a bush? Uh, I'm hiding, hiding a little bit. bit. All right, Craig, tell us where you're at. I am in the parking lot at 300. Uh, I think he just drove past. Ah, oh, they got me. Look at that jerk. Well, my air tag didn't tell me you were there. Well, hold on, this is 200 feet away. Okay, now it, now it is, but well, because I'm so close to it though. And then this is where I run. We need to get away. I think it's inconclusive. All right, so, so in the question of do the air tags work and can you use them to track your bike and are they better than the, uh, the device we bought that needs a SIM card? I mean, I think it kind of does. Okay, so the, the way air tags work, and it's actually really, really cool, is this thing can connect Bluetooth secretly with any, any iPhone around it. So if it goes past another iPhone or if it's near, it, it gets in the proximity of another iPhone, it will, say, it, it will like geo-track that and log that and send it back to you. The problem is it doesn't happen very, very fast. So I can't, we can't like, we couldn't track Craig in real time and follow him like, if it, like it was GPS. But if he, if he rode his bike to a, to a certain location and stayed there for 20 minutes or half an hour, we would know where he's at, we can go find him. Now here's the caveat to this system. And they set this thing up so that you couldn't just sneak this in some girl or guy's pocket or purse or something like that and track them home is if this thing's close enough to another iPhone for a long enough time, it will alert the other iPhone. And the other iPhone user will say, you have a, you have a, you have a tracker near you. And then you can, say, you can get that tracker to make a noise and you can find the actual tracker. So if the person who stole your bike has an iPhone, it may not work. You know, he, he might get notified sometime around the time that you get notified where the bike is. So, but I, I honestly think it kind of works. And I think it for 20, for 29 bucks a piece or whatever we paid for four of them, I said it's worth a shot. All right, so the next one I'm actually really, really, really excited about and I'm very interested in it. Uh, kind of new thing on the market, but a portable wireless inflatable air compressor. We had a lot of comments, people asking us to review this, so. Craig, why do you need a air compressor? What's the benefits of that product? Well, if your tire goes flat, hopefully you can put some air in it and get home. You can inflate pool toys and basketballs and Car tires, motorcycle tires, look small enough, you put it in your uh, pocket and take it with you. Check this out, <laughs> check this out. Car, business car. I can imagine someone on the phone, someone on the phone, they're, about, they're, they're buying this and they're like, uh, but does it also work for business car? <laughs> Do you think that was a review question? Does anybody know if this will work for a business car? <laughs> right, this could be really handy. So the other option of something like this is a lot of guys would, write, would have little, uh, what, CO2? Yeah. Little CO2 can, can, uh, canisters. I don't know how much that costs, but it's after a while it just doesn't work anymore. It's also a power bank. Also, it does lighting. Also, it also it's also a tire pressure gauge. Also, fast inflation. Thirty seconds and then auto stop. Wow. All right, let's open it up and see what we got. Wireless instructions bag. LCD display. Where'd you get that? Movie theater. Mmm. Some assembly required. That's okay. Almost looks like a walkie-talkie. Carrying bag. Of course, it's made in China. 4,000 milliamp battery. Not bad. Let's go. Uh, let's go test it out. Let's do it. Ooh, the light oh, came there's on. There's a light. The light came on. Well, let it charge up, and we'll come back and try it out. 32. 
bring it down to we gotta bring it down to like 20. <laughs> we might have to come back tomorrow just leave it hanging on there it said 24. all right let's use that thing see if we can get from 24. all right so we took my truck tire down to 26 pounds let's see if we can do it we gotta take it up to 35 or 36. Okay, we got it set to, it's at 24.3, we got it set to car. It's doing it. It's not fast. It's gonna hang there, we'll come back. It just quit. Well, I'm not. I'm not sure if it quit. Look, it's. I mean, that's at 33. It says 33.9, but inside my truck it says um it says 36. Oh, let's take a look. See what it says inside your truck. That was 17 minutes. 36. 36. All my tire. I gotta fix. I gotta get all my tires straight. So it, it pretty much killed the whole battery. It took about 20 minutes to do it, but I'm actually really impressed. It needs a. That's pretty powerful. Yeah, I was impressed. To fill up a uh, you know 36 uh, psi. So if it can do a truck, it can definitely do a motorcycle. Let's go to the next product. All right, and guys, and the last stupid Amazon product we have to review is, honestly, maybe it's not that stupid. Because I think we can all agree that this is the collab that we've been all waiting for. Everyone has been waiting for the Iron Man Predator collab. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. It's so awesome. Now, you can get a regular Predator one, but I was like, no, no. I need the Iron Man. Is it an actual, is it an actual helmet? I was wondering about that because I was like, oh, there's no way it's DOT or street legal or anything like that. If you look at it, it's an actual like three quarter helmet, like a normal, regular, and actually feel that. That's pretty nice feeling. Oh yeah. It feels like a micro suede. It's a nice, regular three quarter shield helmet. And then, but then they just put this on it. And this, I mean, don't expect, oh, oh, wow, look. I'd be afraid that thing's gonna explode in my face if I it's crash. Not gonna, it's not gonna do that much, but it's better than just having a three-quarter helmet. I don't know. Let's try it on. I'm excited about this. Oh my word. <laughs> it's like I got long hair again. <laughs> How cool is this, huh? <laughs> I bet when you ride, I mean, this thing is just gonna rip, try to rip it right off your head. Uh, How do I get it off? This is weird. Greg, take it off. Oh. Right. This might be a larger size than it's a large. This might fit your head better. Oh my word, that is giant. Let me see how much this thing was. <laughs> wow, it sounds funny in here. It's comfortable though. This thing was $145. <laughs> Which if you're gonna get if you're getting it for like a well, you know what? Let's give it a proper review. Right, yeah, with the drives back and forth. What's up? Hi, Craig. What's the verdict? Does this thing is awesome as everyone thinks it is and as much money I spent on it? Yeah, I think so. I, I, I liked it, I really enjoyed it. Uh, one of the things with glasses in the wintertime, I didn't fog up at all because this does nothing for stopping wind. And it's, it was it's, like it wasn't even. <laughs> <laughs> the more and more I saw it, I was like, it's so dumb looking. Like the colors don't really, it's not really the Iron Man colors. It's kind of a pinkish. I was like, it, look, it looks like a goofy looking Ninja Turtle. <laughs> Like shredder like, It looks like you're trying way, it's, you're trying way too hard. I mean, and in a motorcycle visor, this is important. You, you start getting speed, you only got like 40 miles an hour. Right, yeah. You start getting like 60 and 80 and stuff like this. This is gonna like just fly off. I thought it would buff it a lot more. Um, again, I was only going 40 couple. You were going very fast. Yeah. Um, it did fly up on me once. It's a very silly um, collab. This, if it was 20 bucks, it'd still be a waste of your money. This is a Halloween costume, even though it says DOT. I think that's just a lie. Don't buy this helmet, and don't let me see you buying this helmet. 
All right, guys, I want to do a little bit more testing with this, with this air tag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it in Craig's truck. And I'm going to see if I can follow him, see if I can find where he goes at nighttime. I, I assume he's going home. But let's, uh, let's try it out. You don't think the stalker feature is going to go off soon enough? Craig doesn't have an iPhone. Oh. Let's stick it in here. Let's see what happens. So I was planning on um, tracking Craig at night to see where he goes. But actually today he called in sick. So I, I went to go, um, I was going to see how he's doing. Cause Craig never calls in sick. I've seen Craig go to work with broken ribs and, and horrible diseases, the plague and everything like that. He never calls in sick. So he's, he's sick. I want to see how he's doing. But he's not at his house, according to the tracker. He's someplace else. So maybe his wife took his car. Let's just go, let's, let's go see how he's doing. All right, so I know exactly where we're at. I don't know why Craig would be here, but let's, what's he doing in there? So this is our LS2 engine. Oh, and I wanted to introduce uh, my new co-host, Craig. Hey, Craig, so this what's going on? It's not no. what it look. Jason, come hey, on, man. It's what's not up? what it looks hey, like. Sir, what's we, up, brother? We were just How talking. How are you? Yeah. Oh, hey. Yeah. Let me. Uh, 